I felt uh, shaking. I was sleeping upstairs. And Roger Greninger and his wife felt the earthquake just before 6 a.m. Their old dog, Scruffy, did not. Greninger says the 3.1 magnitude quake in San Ramon literally hits close to home. It looks like we're the epicenter here. In fact, the one this morning, we looked it up, uh, and it was epicentered uh, just uh, about a block and a half from our home. Francine Greninger isn't so worried about the swarm of earthquakes that have hit San Ramon. When I was 11 years old, I lived in Anchorage with my family, and we experienced the, probably the largest earthquake in North America. But others say they're a bit anxious. Yeah, I don't know. We're definitely nervous. So she's very um, yeah, I'm a little, uh, have a little anxiety, anxiety about, it. about it. Scientists describe why those earthquakes in San Ramon are called a swarm. Something in the order of 150 earthquakes have occurred in this area since since early November. The Berkeley Seismology Lab says there's been 24 small earthquakes in San Ramon in the past week. Well, so the only place that there's been a swarm is in San Ramon. Um, and what I mean by a swarm is that we have multiple small magnitude earthquakes occurring over a period of time. Earthquake experts say the swarm consists of small magnitude quakes that give a good jolt. There have also been other small earthquakes across the Bay Area over the past few months. USGS says every day there are about 50 earthquakes that happen throughout the state of California, but they're so small that you and I can't feel them. Some wonder if the recent swarm of quakes in San Ramon might be a precursor of the big one. Experts say that's not necessarily the case. There have been swarms of earthquakes before and no major magnitude quake following them. And none of these events have actually resulted in a, in a, in a bigger earthquake, something that we would consider to be um, you know, damaging. And, and there's really about it's on the order of about 5% chance that these would sort of lead to something that's, that's bigger.